Do you want to start using C Sharp with Godot, but need a little help setting up? Then this is the tutorial for you. And now let's get started. First we need to download and install the tools we will be using. In this tutorial we will be using Godot 4.1. And when using C Sharp, you will want to download the .NET version. You also need to download and install .NET 7 SDK. And finally, you will want to download Visual Code. I won't show these steps in more detail as they are very self-explanatory. But I have left links in the description to where you can find everything. With all the tools downloaded, let's open Godot and create a new little test project. At the top of the editor, we shift to the 2D view. And now let's create our first 2D scene. Right click on the root node of our new scene, select add child node and also add a label to the scene. Now let's zoom in a bit. And with the label selected, let's go to the inspector menu to the right and set a default text. If we look further down in the inspector menu, we can find and open the theme's overrides properties, open font sizes and set it to something a bit bigger. I'm setting it to 64 here. I'll also quickly click and drag the label more into the scene and then save the scene. Finally, we can test the game using the play button in the top right of the editor. For now, just select the current scene as the main scene. Okay, now let's create a script and see how we can use Godot and Visual Code together. But first, make sure to go to the editor menu Select Editor Settings and at the bottom under the .NET menu, select Editor. Here you will want to make sure that the external editor property is set to Visual Studio Code. Now right click on the Label node and select Attach Script. Make sure to select C Sharp as the language before you hit Create. This should open up your new script in Visual Code. Before we can really start working on our script, we need to set up a few things. First, go to Extensions and make sure you've installed the C Sharp Dev Kit. If you are installing it now, then you might have to restart Visual Code to get everything up and running correctly. Now, Back in our project folder, we create a new folder called .vscode. And here we need to create two new JSON files. One called launch and one called tasks. I won't go into more detail here as to how these work, but they can be really easily set up by just copying these example files. I have left links in the description to where you can find them. The only thing you really need to change here is the program path. Or you either need to set up a Godot environment variable, or you can just copy and paste the location of your Godot editor like I do. And now we should be ready for the fun stuff. Go to the label.cs file and in the ready function, let's set the label's text to be the classic hello world. Finally, click on the run and debug icon and run the play configuration. Now your Godot project should run by itself. If your text didn't update, then check that you saved the scene in the Godot editor. 
If it still doesn't work, then check your Godot path in the launch.json file. Now that we have connected Godot and Visual Code, we can also add breakpoints when we need to debug what's going on. And now you're all set up to start creating games in Godot using C Sharp. I hope you found this video helpful. If you want more tutorials on C Sharp and Godot, then please leave a comment, like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye!